because his wife is from southern South Africa, but we built a classroom there. I don't know how many rooms, three or four? Shall we? So that was one of our early international projects, was to build this classroom, and what year was that, Dave? Uh, in 85, 86. That recent? Yeah. I'll be darned. No, no. Actually, we arrived, you're right, we arrived at Christmas of 84, and the classroom had just been built. Yeah. You know, there's Barry Schrader, he was a great president. <laughs> oh, boy. Who is that on the right there? Gosh, you know, I had that darn beard for 16 years, and I shaved it off one morning and came to Rotary and sat at a table with eight or ten people. And I could hardly stand to look at myself. I looked so different. And, uh, God, nobody said a word. Nobody noticed that I'd shaved that darn beard off. That's because they didn't recognize you. <laughs> Jasper was 91 or 2 when he died, and of course he has two wonderful children in this club, Sam and Nancy. And he was a great, great guy. I mean, and I think that's Michael Ferrucci before I he started. I think that is Michael, like that guy. <laughs> he was a good song leader, too. That's all. Okay, John, why don't you... We have just a few minutes. John's going to try and come, uh, give you some other ideas real quick, early days of uh, projects. I'll skip through this. Uh, one of the very first uh, projects that we actually built something was in uh, 19, 1950. Uh, Ed Runsom, who was my high school science teacher back then, uh, we built this community center playground which was tacked on to the end of the Bothwell Center, the West End, and uh, we dedicated it to the second president, Mario Acciaioli, who unfortunately passed away that year. Uh, between 52 and 54, the, the city built Arroyo Park, which is now underwater, unfortunately, by the dam, but our club made benches and picnic tables and helped uh, pull, put in sewer lines and so forth. In 1958, Sikheni president, our club donated $1,000 toward the Van Memorial Hospital uh, fundraising drive, and a few days later we donated another 3000 total of $4,000 to the, the project. In 59, uh, we started the annual visit of the foreign students from uh, the Calif California Eye House, which has gone on all these years, a very, a very good program that, that I worked in and, and Dave Lowell did, and, and a number of uh, recent Rotarians. It's a wonderful program. In 1960, Elbert Kirkman, who was the, the winemaker at Wednesday's time, we took on providing playground equipment at the Maynison Park. Uh, we bought all the uh, equipment and installed it ourselves. Uh, in 1969, Ed Ravinius, we started and financed the Student Education Loan Fund, which is still operating. In 19, John said, 64, we helped organize a Pleasant and Club, President of the Club. In 1966, a fire truck was purchased, a used fire truck for $500, and we donated to our sister city, Casaltenango, Guatemala, and John Shirley was the chairman. In 67, John Shirley was the president. He formed our first Interact Club at Livermore High School. Uh, we built the Veterans Park Barbecue Area, which is on the veterans' ground and the first picture of Rossler Rotary Club. 68, 69, Don Nolte was president. He started the landscape project in front of Valley Memorial Hospital, $2,000 worth of shrubs, trees, and ground cover, and we also planned for the William Mendenhall City Founder plaque. In 69, 70, John Sarb, or something or other, <laughs> <laughs> Sheila Faliano, how do you to pronounce that game, right? And we completed the landscape project, we dedicated the Mendenhall plaque, and we put on a pancake breakfast at the Livermore Air Show. And then, as, as mentioned before, from for 10 years, our club participated and did all the work. Well, all the work, not setting the towers, but the lighting project. Microphone. The lighting project. Hello? Uh, 
during that period of time, there were 10 presidents, and uh, in the in 75, the uh, we constructed and dedicated a the Johnny Schneider Monument at the Rodeo Stadium, part of the bicentennial year. Uh, Johnny Schneider was a local product here, all around Rodeo champion in 31, plus world champion in bull riding 29, 30, and 32. And then at the two concerts in 60, 76, 77, in 78, Paul McEwen, our president, uh, an electrical contractor, personally took charge of the whole work project, and he worked up to it until his untimely death. And at the same year, uh, 78, we took over the Rodeo Parade. Al Lewis, still active around here, our 75th anniversary RI, we had a dinner. Edward Teller was our speaker, and the club made Dr. Teller a Paul Harris Fellow. Randy Schlantz was also active during that 10 years, and uh, our club built and donated a bicycle safety program to the Livermore Police Department and donated $2,000 for soccer fields. And in 82, 83 was the, uh, the actual lighting project completion and celebrated by Bob Edwards. Let's see, that was... Does anybody remember how the fire truck got down to South America or to Central America? Yeah, but, yeah, we haven't got time right now. We're John Sherwood will present a program on that. <laughs> <laughs> Because uh, we heard we heard about Barry Schrader's uh, thing, and in that year, '84, we sponsored the the Morning Club. Bill Neff still active here. In '85, '86, raised over ten thousand dollars from selling Porsche raffle tickets. And of course, Marty Plone in '86 uh, held a fundraising golf tournament at Castlewood, which was the start of our Rot Rotarian Foundation. And finally, Mel Nelson. And I mean. Yeah. One quick thing here, uh, the club has had many outstanding rotary projects that continue since 87. Between 98 and 2012, there were 10 uh, projects that were directed by Dave Murdis for anything that needed medical equipment around the world. And there was also a project that was sponsored and carried on by T.J. Gil Martin in India. That, uh, our club was provided 45 low-cost shelters to house uh, 500 people in, in an impoverished area in India, including uh, electricity, running water, incense, sanitation, and so forth. That would make a good program for sure. Thank you. Well, you know, there's a lot of presidents since then, and a lot of things have gone on, but when you only have 25 minutes, it's hard to tell the whole story. Well, what an incredible club we've been for all these years, and we're going to keep it up. Okay, we've got two hundred and thirty-three dollars in the pot today, so let's uh, ask John. No, you've got a ticket. Okay. We're <laughs> cellmates. <laughs> the last three numbers: five, six, seven. <laughs> okay, look in your pockets and find that. Five, six, seven. Is that you, Vern? No. No? <laughs> well, maybe you can hear later. Okay, pull another one. Pull another one. Yeah. No, no, not yet, Vern. Wait, what? I wasn't the one. Five, three, two. What do you mean? I don't Hey! Oh, 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 oh